What is up guys, this is Nick. We are back on Black Desert Online and uh, we're going to be continuing the Sorceress main playthrough today. We need to kill um, 30 of the Helms and collect broken pieces of the Bout Slate. So that's where we left off last episode, so let's hop into it today. Um, you guys are seeing this the day I'm recording it. Tomorrow will be the return of the double uploads every day until we finish up this. And then I'll probably make Saturdays and Sundays just one uploads. Um, and we'll push to finish up The Witch. There is a series I want to start uh, coming up after we finish up this and The Witch. Um, but I'll save that for another video to talk about. But I'm looking forward... Looking forward to that series. I think it should be a cool series on Black Desert here. Uh, not sure what character I'm going to use yet. Pro I might I might just use... Nah, I have different plans for the Ranger, I think. So maybe we'll do a Berserker or something like that. I do need to keep an eye out for... Uh... Can I... Hello? I do need to keep an eye out for... Uh... When the new characters are going to release. I don't know if they've announced that yet or if they've said anything on it, but that is something we need to keep an eye out for. Alright, we're five pieces in already. Hello, everybody. Can I get you guys to kite up here? Come right over here to this fellow with the spike camera. Well, that would have worked, except they got caught trying to come to me, so. It's the real struggle. But that's 10 out of 30. Where are we on the map in comparison to, like, anything? Okay, yeah, we're out. Um, so this is cool. This area obviously can be explored. Haven't explored, like, any of the Balanos territory. I wonder what's all the way up there. Alright. So we got 11 out of 30. Let's attract the world again here. Hello, everybody. Can you all... Oh my gosh. Can you all kite up for me? Hello. Can I... Hey, stop it. Come over here. Hello. Hello, everyone. Alright, let's start killing... They didn't all come. Dang it. That could have been it. If all of them would have come over here, that definitely would have been enough to complete this. Still might be... It'll be close. We're going to get to like 23 or 24. There's 22. Here's 23. And there's 24. Let's just run back down here and attract all of these guys. Hello, everybody. Just everybody come down here, right? Right here. Come down to these two. Axe-wielding boys. Tool-wielding axe guys. There's 27, 28. 29. And there we go. Complete. Did you just die? Thank you. Alright, back we go. Guess we're only gonna kill... I keep trying to hit Y to jump. I've remapped, so I've been playing Sekiro. I'm playing Sekiro. Um, and I remapped the button to Y, so I keep... Oh, it's not auto-pathing the way I want it to auto-path. Okay, maybe it is. What on earth? My camera was like stuck down okay there we go um but i remapped the button in Sekiro to y oh my gosh why does it do this just auto path correctly um i remapped the button in Sekiro to y from a because i wanted interact to be a on there and so consequently now in this game i try to hit y to pick it up or to to jump But that is, that is one quality game, Sekiro. Haven't got to play it as much as I would want, um, but it, it's a it's a, an elite game. It's a top-tier game. Come here, miner. Okay. 
All right, where is it? Or what does it want me to do here? Um, okay, Urgh, we're supposed to trek all across the mountain range looking for these pieces. Pretty, petty tasks like this are below me. Oh, here we go. Look over there. He, he, maybe this won't be so difficult after all. That helm has crafted lots of pieces of slate into a shield. Urgh. I can feel its power washing over me. We need to defeat him. <laughs> it's better to have a bigger piece than multiple little pieces. I think we can easily defeat him together. <laughs> I'm helping you this time. Don't you forget it. Don't even think about betraying me in the future. Okay, so we need to defeat Nox, the Helm Tribe Chief. I like it. <laughs> what was that? Just the zigzagged for no reason there. All right, boss time. Should probably sit up. I'm trying to figure out the best way to sit and record for the face, not only the face cam, but also like overall. But I think like sitting up is the best. So like if I back my chair up here, I, th I think this is the best. I think this is the best right here. And I can't like, I, I don't know. It's hard for me to play while like leaned back in my chair and whatnot. This is much easier. All right. Let's do this. I assume we have a scroll to summon our friend. Yeah, here we go. Helm Tribe Chief Summon Scroll. Let's do this. Can I... Hello? There we go. Let's dance. Okay, you hit... You hit a little hard. I was not prepared for the heavy hitting. I also wasn't prepared for the spin to wins. Back it up. What? I didn't even see the shield. What is that? Kite around a little bit here. Hit it with some back attacks. Okay, did avoid the shield attacks there. Oh, I thought I dodged out of that. That's alright, that wasn't too much damage. Definitely dodged out of that. Take some damage in here. Back it up. Dodge over. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, pretty much dodged most of that spin to win. Ah, I couldn't dodge over in time. got to make sure that's the attack I have to make sure I die. yeah that's the attack I had to make sure I didn't get hit by that attack that attack is one heavy hitting attack because by the time it clips you with all the different hits it ends up being like a like a 600 damage hit if it hits you all the way because I think it took me from full health to like 500 with one of its hits so it ends up being like just slightly over uh 600 damage which is quite the powerful hit. So this was a really quick, um, this was a really quick, like, a a area. We, we fought a few helms, and then we killed the boss, and that was it. Usually it has us do a lot more other stuff. I think, I think Berserkers are the, are the, are the next thing I really want to try, um, like, f that might be what I do for that, that side series. I mean, I don't have many other options. Berserker, it's regular basic knight, or it's the wizard. And I already have a witch, and I don't really want to play a wizard. Um, so it really comes down to basic knight or berserker. 
And the quality thing is, is I guess I don't really care what my Berserker looks like. Like, I don't care what my male characters look like. I like to fashion, I like, you know, it goes back to, like, fashion souls and all that different stuff. Character customization. You care what your girls look like, I don't really care what my guys look like. It's just, it's just how it goes. I think I might have a Berserker name all picked out and all of that different stuff, too. So if I do decide to go that route, I think I'm all prepared to do it. Okay, Giant Clansman. You were able to collect so many pieces in such a short time. This is more than enough. I've transferred all the power from the slate pieces into this bundle of parchment. The last thing you need to do is take it to the Ancient Fissure and have Bout's Enchantment imbued upon it. Bout's Enchantment ensures that the transferred power remains sealed within the parchment for as long as possible. This can only be done by the Ancient Dwarves. Head south to the Ancient Fissure and speak to Ayn Gride... Uh, chief of the dwarves. He would be able to complete the talis the talismans you seek. All right, on the road we go again to find the dwarves. So, oh, this is uh, no, 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 no. Wait, this isn't the castle I saw. This is a different area. This is like the castle I saw. Looks like a town almost, like town hall there. Interesting. If we don't go there soon, I'm going to go there on my own and check it out. Find out what it's all about. How much longer do I have on my blessing? Speaking of the stuff popping up at the top of the... Not speaking of, but stuff popping up on the top of the screen. Still got 66 days, almost 67 days left of all of this stuff. I should probably pick up some more of the... Book of Combats. I really should probably pick up another one of these. I mean, it gives you extra, gives you extra experience. Ooh, you can actually transfer this to other characters. So when you get off, you can transfer. Oh, that's, that's actually, it's actually kind of nice. No, I did not know that. Did I not? Hold on. Stop. Did I take that stuff off? I took my amulet. Really? Really? Alright, you guys gotta die. You guys gotta die. I was just trying to put some cosmetic changes back on my character and you guys just had to interrupt. Oh my gosh, go away. Why are there so many of you? I like how this one miner is just like, nope, nope. Okay, okay. We're gonna go down the road a little bit. And find another little bit safer of a spot to re-equip my cosmetics. Oh my gosh, you're still following. Leave me alone. We'll run until my stamp... Uh, uh, there, okay. There's just a random dude sitting back there. Huh, interesting. I don't really want to... I'm going to stop here and do it. Whatever. If he kills me, whatever. Whatever. Okay, so we we equipped all that. And then we can... Ooh, actually, we have the Lars Arsian. Or we have the Shadad or whatever it's called. Yeah, the Shud Shadad. Wait, hold on. Is this the one I can put on? Gotta look at my back. Which one looks better? You can't even see the Lars Arsian one. That's the lame thing about that. I think I like this better. It's just a little bit of a wrist gadget. I think I like this one better. This is like a full-blown arm thing. Yeah, I like this better. It's just like a little bracelet you put on. Definitely like that more. I don't know how I accidentally took all of those off, but... All right. What is this? This is this is a dagger, or is this is your? I don't actually know what this is. That that's your underwear. Um, I have to assume that's your underwear, and then I don't know what that is. I should probably buy an underwear because it gives you. Um.
it gives you increased luck or an increase on something. I think it's all luck. But it does give you an increase. It's been interesting. A lot of these stories areas have not had people in them. Um, for a while there, like, every area we went to, there was, like, a couple of people, and I had to worry about getting PvP'd. That hasn't really been the case this last little while. Barely seeing people anymore. Which is nice. I'm, I'm not gonna complain about that. Let's roll on up the stairs. Almost there. We gotta do a full circle here. Gotta weave our way through all these tunnels. Well, this is an interesting setup they've got go that the dwarves have going on here. These look like vault doors from like Fallout. Alrighty then. Iron Gride. The ancient ruins. The huge structure that you're standing on is the they product of an ancient civilization. And with respect. Hmm, talismans imbued with the power from the pieces of the original bout slate. Pretty nifty idea the giants cooked up there. I'll start enchanting them right away. They're quite small, so it'll only take two ticks. Yeah, right, all done. I hope these side. help you out. You I brought a lot of materials, so I've taken the liberty to make quite a few more. I wonder if you could help a dwarf out and take some of them to the ancient ruins evacuation site. An old pal of mine who's surveying the site reached out to, to me for er, for help. Said his workers are experiencing hallucinations just like your minor lads. It seems the presence of dark energy in Medea is growing every day. Reminds me of when Elezra made her appearance back in the day. I can take care of that, good friend. Thank you for doing what you could. I'll go find Jamo Hasa at the Ancient Ruins Evacuation Site. How far? Uh, where is this? Eh, not too far. Wrap around the mountain. Actually, it looks like we can just go off the road and cut around the mountain. Gotta pay attention when we run past that. So let me take a look quest-wise. What are we looking at? Okay, we're we're still rebuilding the Merchant Guild. Nice. I thought we might be in Reliving the Darkness and I was going to be the big sad, but we're still rebuilding the uh, Merchant Guild. So we have a bunch of quests still to go for this. So that's good. We're not we're not quite done yet. We're not quite to the we're not quite done with the main story quests just yet. Which is fantastic. How, that's how I would like it to not be done with that. Alright, gotta pay attention to the mountain so when we get to that spot I can just cut left. Looks like I should probably cut left. Should probably cut left right here. Is it up above or is it down low? I mess this up? No, I just didn't go far enough. Ba -ba -ba, mistakes were made. Alright. I think I got us. Maybe I got us where we're supposed to go. No, this didn't work out very well. I totally messed this up because there's a huge mountain here that's blocking my way. So I can't even go around the way I wanted to anyway. So we'll just stick to the road. Enough of me trying to path myself there because that clearly, clearly did not work. I can respect that. That dude's name is Tongue. He made his character Tongue or she. They made their character Tongue and they made their family name Tongue. So they're Tongue Tongue. Had a terrible name. King Seeker Soul of Siegfried. I always love reading people's names. I think that person that just ran Lia was like Lady Lovely or something like that. Man, I really hope none of these people just start smacking me. Because, you know, that's, that's the possibility right now. Let's check our central market. We sell anything. 
We did. We sold a necklace. Did we buy anything? Oh, we got a great... Oh, we got five of the grade one armor reform stones. Hello. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, enchantment upgrades. Why are there... There's 114 of these registered, and yet I'm not buying any of them. I'll pay max price, like... I'm not... Oops, oops, oops. Confirm. Buy those. Let me see. Am I not... Do I not have my thing set high enough? Is that the issue? Where, where is Central Market? So, I'm buying them for... Okay, so the grade twos are 1 mil 35. Oops. Oh, oh my gosh, I keep... I hate that. I always hit B to back out of that, and it's not the correct. So, upgrade. No, I am offering the top price that you can offer. Actually, I'm offering more. I'm offering more. than. Huh, maybe that's what's jacking it up. They went down in price, and now it can't... It can't actually have me buy any of these because they all went down in price. It's probably it. Um, let's see. What do I want to check here? Check manual. Like, check amulets. Probably you should start looking at some of these other amulets that are probably clearly better than mine. But the weapons are still a bit limited. They are still a, a wee bit limited. Alright, stone golem. Go away. Just a wee bit limited. I need to get my attack power up. 102 is I, but it needs to be higher. It needs to be like 140. I needed to get it to 140. That's where I want it. But that's more post-game. I'll get to that post-game than getting to it right now. All right, Jambo Hasa. Ask me what you're curious about. I'll answer you if I know. You're new to the ruins. Used to be a time I could charge a silver coin entrance fee. This place really used to be something else. Now the place is in tatters because that witch decided to throw a tantrum and nobody wants to pay anymore to go in. Minerals. Ah, minerals are real beauties, aren't they? Shut up. You're Naruto Shen's right hand? What brings you here? As you can see, everything is going well. Pardon those fools who are seeing hallucinations. You know about that? Guess Naruto Shen really does have eyes everywhere. Ask me huh. you're yeah, you're right. Lazy, bloody I'll workers. They won't be able to complain once we're given, once we've given these to them. Talking nonsense just to get out of doing work. I bet that ancient ruins expert has been egging them on. Huh? The expert? He's probably down there somewhere investigating the ancient ruins. Go teach him a lesson. Minerals. Ah, minerals are real. Down where? Looks like this is way far away. Well, kind of. Way down. Interesting. These areas are always designed so weird. It's like, oh, here we go. We're going to zigzag you all over the map to get you to where you need to go. All right. Where's my dude at? Like, what is that? Why did it zigzag like that? Oh, we got the zigzag stairs down. Where are we going? Oh my gosh, look at the auto path in here. It's going to go up here, it's cut back down. This is like uh, that pixel game. I forget what it's called. Etch-a-Sketch. It's like Etch-a-Sketch. It's like one of those Etch-a-Sketch drawings is the auto path in here. Alright, we're in. Hello, Eden. Well... Ha! And here I was beginning to think our paths would never cross again. It seems we share a common destiny. Well, it's been like a real long time since I've seen you, buddy. Ah, ha ha, talismans. Thank you. Not easily affected by the Black Spirit, but since it is a gift from you, I will gladly accept. That's correct. I'm here to investigate the ancient ruins. The ancient artifacts buried here possess the power to seal dark energy. Sadly, this artifact has long lost its power. Seems that someone forcibly extracted the trapped energy within. Ah, that reminds me. Do you know a giant named Maudi Budar? He recently came by and kept asking me how much the ruin site might actually be worth. I sensed that wasn't all he wanted to know. 
Ah, I see. He's negotiating the prince's asylum. Unfortunately, that is something far above my authority. Are you leaving soon? I feel this won't be the last time our paths cross. Safe travel. Okay, so now we need to go back to good old Neruda Shen. And uh, that will probably be the last thing we do in this episode is go back to our good friend. That's not what I wanted to do. Go back to our good friend Neruda Shen. Um, which is way over in Altanova. This is going to be quite the run. All right, let me take control game. I might get us out of here in a faster, more efficient way. Okay, maybe not, because there's no way to get... Okay. See, this is why sometimes I'm just like, yeah, just let it auto-path its weird directions to wherever the heck it's trying to take you, because I do stuff like that, and then there's no freaking way to go. Alright, here we go. Once I get to... Here we go. I'll just jump off the mountain now. Got back here. Just jump. Really? I can't run up the... Really, game? What is happening here? Okay, now I'm gonna let it auto path because I don't really know how to get out of here. Oh, here we go. Just jump off here. And start heading towards it. it it'll Once it changes its auto path to let me just let it auto path. You, you gotta, come on game. Figure out where I'm going. Then we'll, we'll just let it auto path. But right now this is a little bit quicker. Wonder if I could do, can I do the other, I want the other auto path. Not the, whenever I don't want it to do that auto path, it always does it. Hello, random enemy. I'm not trying to take your grind spot. Please do not kill me. Cool, we got stuck on a wall. Always my favorite. Okay, can we can we figure this out? Here we go. We're on the road again. And we are a long way from... Altanova. What can we do in the meantime? Well, where is it taking me, dude? Where are you? Game. Where on earth was it taking me there? Alright. Do a little inventory management here. I gotta start moving stuff around here, otherwise... I'm gonna run out of room. I already don't have enough room. This down here. That down. Move our Medea seals down. Should probably start trying to put those. I want to put them in the shape of uh, uh, the final one. The U. Could probably start that. But right, Let's move our food right here. Weapon reform stone right underneath that. What? Potion. Why didn't it put it down? Put it down right there. The unfun part of any game. The, the good old inventory management. That's pretty good. That's decent enough inventory management. I mean, it doesn't have, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just got to be good enough. Okay, move that up. Move this down. All right, I think we're good. All right, back to auto pathing. How close are we getting now? We're not too far away. We're already pretty close to being back. I need just to remember when I hit, like, little towns, like, I know this doesn't have a guy, but we could have stopped in Tariff and got my horse. I don't know if that would have been quicker or not. Probably not. I'm going to go with the doubtful it would have been quicker, but maybe, maybe. It's possible. 
It might have. Probably should remove these. Yeah, I'm just going to toss those for now. We'll get them back when we actually want to do them. They're kind of just wasting inventory space. Not that I'm, like, full on inventory, but I'm not, like, empty on inventory. I, I, I do have some. I am getting fuller. So I'm wondering if there is, in the future, if we're going to have these be different. Like, if you're going to be able to equip, like, I don't know, maybe I really like the top from this set, but I wanted the bottoms of another set. Is that what that's going to allow us to do in the future, probably? I don't know, it just seems weird that there's two options here. Taken up, well, It's taken up by the same one outfit, but I'm wondering in the future if we're going to have good old-fashioned options. Maybe I'm all wrong, but... I would think we'd have some options in the future. Would would only make sense. Would only make sense. All right, we're almost back to Naruto Shen. Then we can find out what's next. Alright, we're taking a little side path. Where are we going? We're off on a side path. It's weird. I'm surprised we didn't just straight enter it. Alright, we are back in Alta Nova. That was it too that was that was a little bit long. It took us about like six minutes to run back, but we did get some inventory management and some garbage like that done, so that's that's all that's always good. That's stuff that's gotta get done. Stuff you usually don't have to see me do, but uh this is uh, stuff we gotta get done. Probably should have cut, cut it and started the next episode by coming here to talk to Naruto Shen, but too late now. We're talking to Naruto Shen in this episode. All right, Naruta. Ah, Naruto you've returned. Wonderful. I have no doubt these talismans will solve the problem at the Altanova Mines. Thank you. I've been keeping tabs on the movements of the barbarian mercenaries while you were away, and I fear Captain Sarma may have been right. The barbarians are starting to openly show hostility, and I fear it is only a matter of time until they make their move against us. Therefore, I have commissioned work to begin fortifying the captain's base of operations. With the funds you are you so gracious, gracefully acquired, the only problem is the severe lack of soldiers to defend the fort. We, that is, Captain Sarma... Need trained, experienced soldiers such as the Sausen troops posted in the northern region of Medea. When Medea Castle burned to ashes, the soldiers at the Sausen pose outpost were dishonorably discharged for their failures. Many became bandits. They were extremely loyal to their commander, Schultz, so efforts were made to win him over. Unfortunately for us, Schultz was assassinated and our scheme died with him. The Sausens have been considerably more hostile towards us since then. Some say that Schultz was murdered over a woman, but I believe there is more to it than that. I need you to investigate the murder. Schultz loved two things in life, beer and brawling. He would always visit the local inn and the Altanova Arena where, whenever he was in town. I suggest you try speaking to the arena manager first. Medea is strong. It could be said the same with Altanova. All right, so I think that's going to do it for this episode. I think this is a good spot to call it. So I hope you all enjoyed. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. And I will catch you guys in the next episode of Black Desert. Peace.